TGS in the Czech Republic and it is my first time in this country. Now we're going to take a tour of this facility but Pavel Divish here started this company up 30 years ago. Why? Why and where did it all begin? First of all, I'm happy to have you here because you have been traveling around the world, see almost all the machining yeah. around the world, but you haven't been in the Czech Republic yet. Yeah. So finally, yes. thank you for coming. <laughs> it's an absolute yeah. pleasure, it really is. And what we want to show you is the basically uh, you are coming in the time when the Czech Republic is going through transition of the economy and of the machining, well, because of the worldwide changes. So you will see the way of transition and you will see the approach what TGS is preparing for this transition. So what is it that you ultimately do in industry? Where do you differ from others? Uh, we love technology mm. yeah. and we try to supply technology to the machine tool builders, machine tool companies, machine tool producers and, and parts producers. That's our main job. So are you providing turnkey packages? Are you finding solutions for companies? Who's a typical customer for you? A uh, typical customer is a machine tool company or, or a production company which is producing parts and they need to update technology, they need to boost their, their production, they need to change the... Their ways. Uh, the ways, yeah. yeah. So that's what we try to supply and what they are, uh, they are consulting with us. Right, okay. Can we go see inside? Come in. Yeah. So, welcome in our playground. <laughs> yes, that's a good word for it. <laughs> yeah. So we start with, uh, with our own production because all the technology are starting and ending up with the tools. Yes, of course. And uh, this is the place where we are designing our own uh, old tools and we are trying to adapt always the geometry on the task which we get from our customer or the material required or the cutting conditions. Uh, are, are limiting us. So the tool is, is the key component to, to satisfy the machine, satisfy the program and the part. So you're testing out, you're doing a lot uh, of proving out. We are designing. Yeah. Of course, we have to test it because yeah. we fail sometimes. Yeah. So uh, if we design a tool, we have a machine in the back of the, of the hall. We are testing the technology before it goes to the customer. Right, okay. So this is your tooling, but I can see quite a few machine tools that were um, around that I recognise from all over the globe. Are you limited to how do you represent a business or a machine tool supplier then? Uh, we are always mixing the, the services with some components which we are buying. And the components, the machines is one of the components. So sometimes we, uh, we have, of course, our, our long-term partners. And uh, then we have some special technologies which we have to add into the, into the technology process, uh, starting with, uh, with measurements and with diagnostic, which is usually not the key component for machining, but we need it. And so what's happening here then? And so this is one of our, our design. This is exactly the thing when our designers took the task from the customer and they found out that we, if we design a special device, special machine to handle the customer's requirement, yeah. it will bring the, the expected solution. So this is something what the guys design it. They are amazing. Yeah. And it's a lot of moving. The machine is very nice. I, I really love it. It's, it's moving everything. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very nice so to it's watch. it's part handling as well. Um, it's not only handling. Uh, handling is quite easy. Uh, but this machine is, is using a lot of power because it's forming the part. And uh, so there is a lot of a lot of torque and a lot of power and a lot of, lot of tons of, uh, of material. So how many people work here? Over 100. Over 100? And uh, I'm glad because almost all of them are machine tool enthusiasts. I like that. And, uh, I like they it. They like the adventure of production, of machining, of, of designing technology. So over 100 people work here. Well, how is everyone's job different then? Have you got designers? How does it work out? Because you've got to have a technical side of this business. So how do, can you kind of break down your business? This also belongs to the transition philosophy because the Czech Republic was known from, for years as a, as a cheap production place for Western Europe. Yeah. 
And now it's, it's changing because the demand of Western Europe, especially automotive, is going down. So we are losing the amount of production and uh, we are increasing the, uh, the, uh, the demand for technology. Yes. Because the, the job which, uh, which we will have and we have now is much more complicated in the automotive. It's, there is much more creativity. Yes, creativity. Yeah. So we can finally, finally, we can realize our our advantage, our Czech advantage, and that's the creativity and, and technical intention. expertise. This is different. I've not seen this before. That's, that's exactly what for <laughs> machine tool guys like me. It's uh, I'm a little bit fighting inside with that, but it's uh, it's a 3D printing. It's a large scale 3D printing. Oh. Very special technology, yes. and uh, it's entering the uh, the mechanical world with the plastic, with plastic materials. It's pushing out the aluminium yes. quite a lot because the uh, the temperature of printing is about 400 degrees. So we are very close to the aluminium parameter. Can we go inside? Yeah. Yeah. Um, is this an industry that's um, sorry? <laughs> is this an industry that's um, Evolving, is changing, is 3D printing big here? That's exactly how the technology is affecting uh, the, the ability of creating a product. Because we added this technology into the drone production. Okay. This is one of the examples. Okay. Uh, one of the examples we do for our Ukrainian friends, they, they need to bring up the product as quickly as possible on the market. And uh, we use this technology to create molds in within hours. So every time when there is a need, it shortens the time of production. Yeah. And this technology is fantastic. And this, it's almost like, no, it's an advancement, you know, if time is on, yeah, okay, I understand. So when time is, needs to be shorter and quicker, there's a new technology out there for it. Yeah. And our guys now are trying to prepare it for the installation in Ukraine. Okay. Uh, so it's also some some kind of tricky because the conditions are not that safe like here. No. So we have to make the technology quite safe. Yeah, understandably. And what's your kind of, I've often said this, what's your utopia for the world to know you do? Like, what is it that you want the rest of the world to know that the Czech Republic does for industry? <laughs> I mean, it's quite a big question. It is quite a big question. Go on. Uh, the, the task for Czech Republic in the past was only a price because we were part of the automotive supply chain and the automotive is ruining the creativity and the only, only question that we got to produce cheap. So everything was set up, the design was made, uh, our responsibility was only to, to produce it for a good price. Yeah. And now when automotive is disappearing, we are getting uh, different type of jobs and different type of products. We are entering different industry. And that's exactly the place for our creativity. And if Czech Republic is, is good at something, it's really creativity. Yeah. And you can see it here. So why have you got the Korea here? Uh, we are representing Korea on the, on the Czech market. But uh, we have this machine uh, I call it fitness. We have the machining fitness here. Machining yeah. fitness. Yeah. So before our guys, before we go to the to the customer, we are testing the technology. We are testing uh, the prototypes because uh, this machine has quite uh, quite huge performance and very high torque. So the technology or the metal cutting conditions which we which we are reaching in this machine is really on the edge. It's almost on the edge of the material, of the clamping system, of the tooling. And we have to test it before we go out. So you, what's interesting here is the fact that you're not just shot trying to shift machines, tooling, anything. It's the bigger picture. That's what you're saying. So do, are you, do you have different brands that you work with? How does that work? Or do you open your eyes to different brands in industry and ultimately find a solution or a process? Uh, the technology is complicated, so you will see during those days, you will see a lot of partners which we are working with. So uh, no one is exclusive, because 
every time when we are creating technology, the technology is the leader of the, of the technical parameters which we need. So if we, if we need some special conditions, we need special machine for that. So we will find it on the market and we will add it into the, into the production. I will show you one case. This is the right example. How technology or the worldwide, worldwide situation brought us into the position that the technology is needed to save ourselves. Uh, this is a turbine wheel which we are producing for Ukrainian guys. And, and they need thousands of them. So we are using technology to, uh, to optimize the, the programming, to set up the machine drivers, to cooperating with the programming style correctly. Then we are set up also designing the technology to put uh, as, uh, as less tension to the part as possible, to be able to produce good quality and a good performance parts and they need really thousands of them. This is all happening in-house here. Yeah. That's what you're saying? Yeah. Yes, yeah. That's, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. It's a whole process with enthusiasm. So, Pavel, just to kind of close this off, what would you like the world to know that you're doing here at TGS and that you do it well? There are a lot of different needs on the world to produce parts, to create, to take it, the idea and created the uh, physical part out of it. And uh, we are using technology to make it, to help the companies or the, the owners of the product to make it happen. That's our job. Fabulous. Thank you for taking me on a tour of your facility. Also, there is another building that you've got because you're holding a uh, event, aren't you, here? Uh, but a whole new building as well next door that you can just expand your company into as well. Anyway, it's fantastic to finally have you here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.